this lesson, we're going to be learning that tune by Soundgarden, Fell on Black Days. The acoustic version uh, is what was um, requested. So the most of the tune revolves around that riff that I just played. Which takes a little getting used to because it's kind of a weird phrasing and it's a bar of four and then a bar of two that makes the whole riff bar four bar two um and then there's a uh, like a little uh like transition section there's a bridge and an, a kind of an instrumental interlude and that's pretty much the whole tune um but some weird timing things just a, kind of a weird feel thing um with this but it's you're gonna start with an e5 an e power chord seventh fret a string 9th fret D, 9th fret G. Then you're going to hit open E. So then you're going to move this up to B5. And you got this little half bend and release. So then you go to this double stop that's basically implying an A5. Um, but it's, you're just going to bar the 7th fret, E, and D string. Then open A and D. So we have... And then you hit 8, 7 on low E and A string. 8 and 7. You're going to hit that. Four eighth notes on that. And then you're going to hit an open E at the end of the phrase that sets you up to start it all over again. So let me just play through it a couple times nice and slow. So that's the main <clears throat> riff, okay? So you got an intro of that, the verse does that um, nine times, nine or ten times before we go to this little transition, <clears throat> excuse me. So you have a little octave thing. And before it goes back into the verse. So you're going to... Play seven on the E string, nine on the D string. It's a B octave. And you're going to go. But I'm going to play this with my pinky instead of my third finger because then you're going to end up hitting the ninth fret of the A string as well. So you got. So on the fourth one, you're going to play the full five chord. Then you got four more eighth notes. And the last one there is the full chord again. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then you're going to slide back to A5. Three hits there, three eighth notes. And then D5. So you're just going to move it down to, to your root notes on the A string. So we have then you're going to go back to this 8-7 chord. But you want to try to get the open B and the open um, G string in there. So you need to mute the D string just let your first finger kind of lean and touch it. And then you don't want to hit the high E string. And that finishes that phrase. So it's... Uh... So you actually hit that twice. The first time, more the lower notes. And then let the full chord 
ring out. Okay, so coming out of a verse, here's what that would sound like. Okay, so that's that so far. Then we have a chorus. Um, and that part, is, it revolves around that riff again. You just have a, um, a D5 in there. And you're going to alternate. So, um, I'm sorry, that's not the chorus. That'd be the bridge. The chorus is just the riff again. Coming out of the chorus into the bridge, the bridge is where we have a little bit different thing going. So... The bridges alternates between the riff and um, going to this D5 chord. So sounds like this. So you're just alternating, playing the full riff and then half of the riff with the D. Um, the D5 chord. So the second time you go to the riff, you're going to hit this chord, the C, once. Eighth note rest, and then three eighth notes on the D5. So it's... that throughout the chorus okay um, for arrangement you can check out the tab it's completely arranged how many times you play each riff and and whatnot just kind of going over the parts here um, so that's that's it for the bridge then we have the interlude the little solo it sounds like this and it gets up pretty high for acoustic guitar back into the verse okay so we start with the little um, octave on B three hits then you're gonna slide from seven from an E octave now seventh fret a string ninth fret G string to 11 with your first finger and then to 12 so And then you're going to hit open D and keep your third finger on the 14th fret of the G string. You hit those together. Like that. Um, then you're going to hit your low A string for the root note. Then you're going to do... With the D string, and you're going to be playing most of this riff with the D and the G string. So on the G string, it's... That's the melody. So you have 16th fret, hammer on, pull off, 17. And then slide to 14. Then you go 16, 17, back up. Then 19 twice, 17, 16 to 14. So it's... That's the melody. But then you have these root notes with it. So it's... You're hitting the D string open with it. Now when you get to here, 
then you hit A, D, A before you start it again. So it's nice and slow. Now the, the third one is a little different. Starts out the same. So you're gonna do the little hammer on slide. Then go to 19, then do the, then you go to 16. So that sounds like. And then the last one, you hit your, your root note, open A, to 19, 17, 16, 14, 12, 11, 9. So let me play that third time around. that finishes out the solo section. So one time through the entire solo section so you can hear it nice and slow all put together. back to the verse. So I think that covers almost all the parts. Um, yep. That is it for the tune. So that's all the parts for arrangement. Check out the tab um, or just, you know, listen to the song. But that's a acoustic version of Fell on Black Days by Soundgarden. <laughs>